I'm making this video out there for those of you guys who are having a hard time downloading and installing the Launcher 12 Launcher. If you don't know what that is, then I'm not sure why you're watching this video, but just to sum it up real quick, it's an Android Launcher home screen that is supposed to replicate the Pixel 6 experience as much as possible for the rest of us who can't afford a Pixel. I've been using it for a few weeks, and it's really awesome to have this kind of access to the Pixel 6 experience, but on my normal phone. And huge props to the developers for finding a way to make this work work on Android phones and adding to the Android community in that way. I've, like I said, been using it for a few weeks and I love it. And until I can do my full review, I wanted to at least walk you guys through the install process. All right, let's get started right away. Because this is an alpha build, this isn't available on the normal Google Play Store just yet. So the best place that you could start, at least if I were you, is to go on their official Twitter page. And here, you're gonna see their pinned tweet at the top that actually gives you some highlights of the top features if you wanna read through that, and a link that's gonna bring you to their Telegram page. I've never used Telegram before, but I looked at it for a few seconds. It's basically like Discord, Microsoft Teams, Slack, WhatsApp, whatever. So download Telegram, set up an account, takes like two seconds. Once you do, you can click on the link in the description and you should be directed to the Launcher News Telegram chat. At the bottom, you can download their latest version of the Launcher as well as any future updates and to see the change logs for any future updates. Click Launcher 12 Alpha and it looks like they updated it just the other day, which is pretty great. You might see this prompt here, install unknown sources if you have never installed anything outside the Play Store before. With this, you can go to settings, allow from this source, then you can go back to the download page and select install. Open it up and there you go. A few more things you should probably take a look at. Hit the home button and select launch here as always. I'm sure you can see that there's no Google feed option and me personally, I love the Google feed and that's gonna be an additional download under the message if you would like to add Google feed to your launcher. You can install here. I'm gonna do that because like I said, I love Google feed. So hit install and just like we did before, there you go. So now no matter what phone you have, you can have the Pixel experience at the very least. That includes the themed home screen and most of the other features that the Pixel people get, plus a few extra ones on top for customization. I have it on my LG G8 and it's pretty great. And now you have it on your phone. Uh, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments and I'll be happy to help out here, guys. Take a look, check out some of the customization features as you wait for my whole review. But hey, I'm getting out of here. So take care and I can't wait to see you in the next one.